Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this weird and wonderful AI channel. In this video, I'm going to show you that you can run CDBR2 model on a low VRAM uh, GPU, on a consumer GPU, something like a 16 gig RTX 4080, which is what I'm running on this computer. And this GPU is actually recording this video at the same time as I um, demonstrate the video upscale. So let's go to my comfy UI interface here. This is the workflow that I shared in my other video. Um, the only thing here I have modified is I have disabled this upscale mode because I want this one to do the full upscale. So uh, we have 45 frames in this particular original source clip, 45 frames. We are going to load all of them. There is no limitation. That is the original size. So the size is small. And here I'm going to run five batch size, which is typically the default setting. So let's see how that goes. Here we go. The video is upscaled did not take very long. I did not speed the video up just so you could see the real time progress. Um, the size of the video is very small. The f dimensions of each frame are very small. So they easily fit um, in my VRAM, uh, the GPU model, uh, the model itself, as well as the recording that is going on right now is able to fit that VRAM size of 16 gig and progress and we have this upscaled video here. But as you can see, there is not a lot of consistency, a lot of flicker that is visible in this video. So that is one of the limitations of having low VRAM because I'm running a smaller batch size and I can only upscale small videos to a small upscale size. Uh, so we're going from 120 in height to 240, which is still pretty small in this day and age. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate is that actually because of the small size, I can fit the entire video, all of its frame in the VRAM and still be able to run this comfortably on my 16 gig. And just to demonstrate, there we go. You can see my GPU here. That is it. So pause the video if you want, but there it is, 16 gigs RAM. Um, and now what you will notice is with the 45 frames altogether processed, we have less flicker and more consistency on the different textures and the detail that is upscaled. So that is the advantage of having more RAM um, on your GPU you can run bigger batch size, which can minimize the flicker. You can also run bigger size videos in the source and upscale them to a bigger size, like a 2X or 3X, depending on what size VRAM you have. And this is why I used RTX 5090 on RunPod with 32 gigs of VRAM to demonstrate in my earlier video that you can use this model and upscale. Now, you don't have to go out and spend that kind of money to get a GPU. That is what is great about having cloud GPU that just for a few dollars, you can access a GPU that is higher capacity for a short period of time, use it for the purpose and then shut down. So um, I use that because it costs less than 90 cents to use that particular GPU for every hour that I use. That is quite economical for just playing around in my case. Um, so if you want to try this, try these settings here and small video clip. I am confident that you will be able to run um, the CDVR model on your low VRAM GPU as well. Um, I've certainly been able to run it and I'm demonstrating that in this video. So thanks again for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.